Defense Central is at this year's edition of the Defense and Security Equipment International Exhibition, or DSEI, one of the world's biggest defense exhibitions, held at XL London from September 9th. Organized with the UK Ministry of Defense, the event spans land, sea, air, space, and cyber, with 1,700 exhibitors and tens of thousands of visitors expected across four days. In this video, we'll explore the key zones, the UK's role as host, and the major unveilings from opening day. At DSEI 2025, nearly 650 companies are exhibiting here for the first time, alongside over 700 small and medium-sized enterprises, marking the largest SME presence in the event's history. The show spans almost 100,000 square meters across aerospace, land, naval, security, and joint zones. A major highlight is the new tech zone, where more than 100 firms, many of them small and medium enterprises and non-traditional suppliers, showcase advances in AI, autonomy, cyber, simulation, and counter-drone systems. All this comes as the UK commits £5 billion to next-gen defense technology, with a promise to give SMEs a stronger role in procurement. As the host nation, the UK placed its defense industry and future programs at the center of attention. A major focus was the Global Combat Air Program, the joint effort by the UK, Italy, and Japan to field a sixth-generation fighter aircraft by 2035. At this year's edition of DSEI, industry partners announced new agreements on sensors and engines, while also launching the so-called GCAP Electronics Evolution, or G2E Consortium. Formed by the four leading national defense electronics companies, Mitsubishi for Japan, Leonardo UK for the UK, and both Leonardo and ELT Group for Italy, the group is tasked with developing the program's advanced sensing, non-kinetic effects, and communication systems, known as iSanke and iCS. BAE Systems confirmed its Herney Autonomous Submarine will be market-ready by 2026 under a new deal with Cellula Robotics. Falconworks also teamed with Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works on a large uncrewed air system, starting with an electronic warfare variant. The UK Ministry of Defence used the event to unveil five new defence growth deals worth £250 million aimed at boosting regional hubs, supply chains and innovation. Kinetic added to the UK's narrative of future readiness. The company recently secured a £25 million five-year contract to deliver the Royal Navy's Maritime Command and Staff Trainer, an immersive virtual environment for operational staff training. Thales came to London with a strong slate of announcements. Together with HII, it confirmed the successful integration and field trials of the SAMDIS 600 Synthetic Aperture Sonar on the Remus 620 Unmanned Underwater Vehicle, advancing the next generation of autonomous mine countermeasure systems. Thales also revealed a new collaboration with UK firm Autonomous Devices on EWUAS-1 a drone-based electronic warfare solution aimed at delivering standoff jamming and spectrum dominance from the tactical level. On day one of this year's edition of DSEI, the company also announced a contract with Malaysian partner Advanced Defense Systems, Sendirian Berhad, for more than 100 HFXLTRC 3900 vehicle-mounted radio stations, complete with amplifiers and antennas. There was strong anticipation ahead of Rheinmetall's announcements. In partnership with Lockheed Martin, it introduced the Fuchs JAG-M, a mobile missile carrier based on the Fuchs Evolution 6x6, fitted with a vertical launcher for 24 JAG-Ms or longbow hellfires, capable of striking both land and air targets. Also on display was the Lynx KF-41 with a Sky Ranger 35 turret, combining a 35mm revolver cannon and advanced sensors for programmable airburst firepower against drones, helicopters, and incoming munitions. For light mobility, Rhein Metall revealed the Ermin Hybrid Vehicle family, 
a quad, buggy, and unmanned ground vehicle with silent move R watch, remote operation, and power generation. At sea, it launched Mass Nova, an upgraded ship protection system with variable launch angles, more decoys, faster firing, and a drone swarm deception feature. Other debuts included the SEOSS 400 fire control system with AI assisted targeting, the SSW 40 squad weapon with counter drone airburst rounds, a new tactical vehicle concept for the UK, and ACE AR augmented reality headset for enhanced battlefield awareness. This year's DSEI floor is busier than ever, showcasing major programs, disruptive tech, and new suppliers. The UK spotlighted its future combat air plans and SME engagement, while Rheinmetall's unveilings drew some of the biggest opening day crowds. Which platform should we cover next? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you're enjoying our live coverage, don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got plenty more coming your way.